Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Wall. Today I review the Vespa SXL150, the BSX model. What all new changes does it bring along with it? And does the right feel change with the BSX update? The answers to all of that is what is coming up in this video. So without further ado, let's get started with this review. First of all, special thanks to Shrey Vespa for allowing me to review the scooter for you guys. To get the best deals on Vespa and Aprilia scooters, feel free to call the number appearing on the screen currently. So this is the 2020 Vespa SXL 150 BS6 ABS model. So what's new you ask? Well first of all the engine is now BS6 compliant wherein BS6 stands for Bharat Stage 6, the government standard of emission norms laid down for the automobile manufacturers to keep a check on the pollution levels. So the new Vespa SXL 150 BS6 puts out lesser pollution when compared to the BS4 model and therefore contributes to sustaining a greener and cleaner environment. Talking about the power figures, the info that I am sharing here is as per what was disclosed by the showroom guys. As per them, this new BS6 SXL 150 puts out 11.4 PS of max power and 11.5 Nm of max torque. You also get a 11 inch front wheel but sadly only a 10 inch rear wheel. The rear tire however is a wider 120 section one. This matte black paint scheme looks absolutely super stealthy and ultra premium. The overall design silhouette looks sleek and stylish and oozes the Italian flair which is what we expect when the branding reads Vespa. We get a part digital, part analog speedo console with the digital readouts including the Odo, the trip meters and the fuel gauge. The seat gets more padding now when compared to prior and as a result the seating comfort is far better on this BS6 model. The aluminium levers, the chrome surrounds on the headlight and the beautiful 5 spoke alloy wheels look absolutely gorgeous. I also love the 3D SXL badging all around which further enhances the overall sporty appeal of the scooter. The SXL 150 comes equipped with a 200mm disc up front and single channel ABS. Please do watch my what is ABS video where I explain about how the ABS technology works as a life-saving safety feature. I'm leaving a link to that video in the description portion below. The chassis comprises of monocoque steel body construction which offers superb rigidity and balance and best-in-class handling characteristics. Further aiding this is the aircraft derived single sidearm front suspension with anti-dive characteristics and at the back we get a dual effect hydraulic shock absorber. The link spring mechanism between the engine and the frame ensures good low speed balance, precise steering feel and feedback and superb high speed stability. Price X showroom Hyderabad for the SXL 150 BS6 model is around Rs 1.25 lakhs which makes it super expensive but it does come packed with great equipment to justify that price tag. I just wish they add a parking brake and 12 inch wheels at both ends to kind of seal the deal. So now that I've given you guys an overview of the scooter, let's see how it feels to ride. So how does the SXL 150 feel to ride? chassis, the variable spark timing, map sensing technology, everything comes together to give you the ultimate riding experience that a scooter can offer. The legacy of Vespa. Whoa! Does 80 effortlessly. But then you get a watch out. A lot of traffic on the road and there's a little bit of uncertainty maybe because of the uh, 10 inch wheels the SR 150 feels a lot more planted and comfortable and sure footed because of the massive 14 inch wheels that it has on offer the Vespa on the other hand starts feeling a little wobbly though the engine is incredibly powerful and the potential that it has on offer is right up there with the best it's only that the tires don't support the chassis the monocoque chassis is absolutely stellar it's 
tank on in terms of offering unbelievable rock solid stability further aiding this is the aircraft inspired single side arm front suspension which gives you incredible amount of confidence doing speeds of around 90 km per hour on this fashion icon a lifestyle statement that the Vespa has always been the handling and the agility is so good thanks to the monocoque chassis I believe this is the only scooter in our market to offer a monocoque steel body so the high speed stability and the handling is on a completely different level altogether i love the matte black finish i love the fonts that they've used for the speedo console it's a part digital part analog speedo console i believe we got this update with the bs4 uh, model uh, but then the bs6 model also gets this layout maybe the fonts are a lot more like slightly racier looking now uh, but other than that the fit and finish the build quality it's top notch top of the class stuff look at this maniac riding right through the other lane he deserves a date with Deadpool <laughs> okay here we go the explosive performance of the Vespa is clearly apparent which is why you see Deadpool using this scooter in the chase sequence high flying high octane action chase sequence uh, in a sequel where he's trying to chase down cable also this scooter comes equipped with ABS so this is one of the very few scooters along with the SR150 to offer ABS in the scooter segment so that's incredibly good great to see Vespa take the initiative I mean Piaggio taking the initiative uh, with the Aprilia SR150 and both the even the Vespa getting offering ABS to offer that added bit of assurance when it comes to safety and uh, superior braking performance so let's see how well it brakes we are doing around 50 kilometers per hour and uh, let's slam on the brakes whoa That was good. The rear wheel did lock up and we have ABS operational only on the front wheel. It's a single channel ABS. And let's try it one more time using the front brake. Going 40 kilometers per hour. And yeah, you see, this is what ABS means to you and me. This is the difference that ABS makes. The kind of safety, uh, watching your back, even in panic braking scenarios going 40 kilometers per hour and I slam on the front brake for all it's worth and still it holds up good without the front wheel locking up but uh, you saw the two other times where I was using both the front and the rear brake and uh, the rear wheel locked up big time so always try to use more pressure on the front brake when compared to the rear brake experts maintain that you need to put 70 percent pressure around 70 to 75 percent pressure on the front brake and only 30 or 25 percent pressure on the rear brake so that is one braking tip i always uh you know suggest to you guys so keep practicing that and i'm sure uh, you will uh, develop the habit of using the front brake more and you realize the difference it makes the original vespa flare can be felt each time you take the scooter out for a ride and it's such a good looking machine it's a fashion icon i mean a lifestyle statement and people just stand in awe of its presence the way it looks you can park it in your bedroom and it'll look like an art form so that's what differentiates a vespa from other scooters uh, so and in this matte black attire it looks absolutely out of this world another good thing about the bs6 model is that the refinement has gone to a completely different level so that is something you can rejoice about yes the bs4 model was also refined but now the refinement level has been taken to a completely different level and that is what uh, makes every ride special on the bs6 model so that's something to rejoice about and i'm so glad they have fine-tuned this engine to perfection so i guess this wraps up my review of the vespa sxl 150 the bs6 model and this is the abs variant as well so i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe